watching php tutorials today we are going to see loops in php first of all we will see while loop then do while loop then for loop and for each loop so let's start with while loop i'll just need to start uh, google chrome browser and my notepad and let's check how our local host is running or not yeah it's running and all our programs are in php programs directory so let's start with the while loop well while loop is execute if the condition is true then it will execute the block of code if the condition is false then it will break the loop and execute the block of code after that while loop so the syntax will be like while the condition and here code goes here so let's see uh, with a very basic example of if you want to print a table of 5 that is 5 into 1 5 into 2 from 5 to 5 into 10 so it should print the table of 5 so we are going to use this file loop suppose we have a number like multiply equals to 1 and we have a number to be multiplied that is nothing but 5 let's take a while loop and suppose if I say multiply is less than or equals to 10 then the code will execute like echo in the new line and dollar number into dollar multiply and equals to dot operator for concatenation dollar multiply into dollar number so this will nothing but perform the calculation over here and this will only print on the screen but we should write the multiply plus plus that means it should increment after every statement execute in this block so we'll just need to save this with the name while dot dot php now if i just refresh this so it is showing while loop dot php and if i just click on this so it is showing me a table 5 into 1 5 you can check by changing this 5 to 6 whether it is working correct or not so 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 18 and so on so that's how you can use a while loop suppose if we forget to write this statement so it will execute infinitely so that doesn't make make any sense so we should take care of this statement whether it is having a terminating value or not so that's how you can get you can use do while loop if you want to execute the statement at least once suppose in this case if I say uh, multiplier is 11 so 11 is less than or equals to 10 this condition would become false so if I just refresh it it show it is showing nothing over here but if I want at least once it, it should show so I can use do while loop in that case so the syntax for do while loop is do then first execute the block of code and then we can put the condition for the while block so in this way you can use a do while loop now if I check for this same condition do and then our condition over here and the same code I'll write over here in the do block so it should execute at least once whether the condition is true or false it should execute at least once I should change the message like uh, 
um, if I refresh this so it is showing from do while loop 6 into 11 equals to 66 now if I change this value to 10 then also it is going to execute and if I change the value to 1 it is going to execute like this the first condition is also true and from the do while loop if it is exceeding that condition like multiply is now greater than 10 so in that case the do while loops first statement is executed so that's how you can use while loop and do while loop there is one more shortcut for this that is nothing but a for loop where you can initialize a variable at the same line you can check the condition at the same line and you can increment or decrement like we have done over here multiply plus plus so if we can use that statement in a single line so that's all for now in the next tutorial we are going to see for loop and for each loop thanks for watching for more videos